Alright guys, this is attempt number three on making this video. Um, realized in the last video my microphone was really, really low, so I'm trying to make sure that this isn't the case. Anyways, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to actually uh, create my user in the salt minion. Um, so this is actually making a, high st a state file. So I've got these folders now. So I've got base users inside states, and I've got an SSH key, and I've got this users.sls, which is an empty file right now. However, I've done this in the past, so you'll probably see that all of this has already been, already been done in some cases of this video or not. I've got an SSH key there. This is my SSH key that I just created in a brand new one, so I don't care if you see it or not. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and create my user in that one host that I previously mentioned in the salt video. That is dev host one. So let's go ahead and create my user. So to do that, I'm going to have uh, my user, which is going to name Mo Ali. Uh, I'm going to have my full name is Mo Ali. Uh, my shell is going to be um, slash bin slash zsh. My uh, what's the word? Um, group is going to be sudo, not wheel, because this is, of course, Ubuntu. Um, what else do I need? Let's take a look at the documentation for uh, salt state modules. If you Google salt state modules, you'll get to this page right here. And what we need is users. Not net users, just actual user. Um, should be towards the bottom. User, there it is, right there. Sweet. Click. Okay, so we need full name shell, home. Home is definitely important. And that's going to be home slash mo dot ali. Great. Awesome. Now, that is actually uh, incorrect. This is actually user dot present. And then all of this belongs in there. There we go. The tabs are mattered. Tabs matter a lot. Okay, we also need and my SSH key. So my SSH key is going to be... Um, so ssh auth dot present, I believe that's the module. So let's find ssh auth. All right, back to the modules page. Got it. This is exactly what I need. So I'm going to go ahead and, and more or less copy of it. Uh, user is equal to mo dot le because that's what we're going to create up there. Awesome. Source uh, is equal to. Uh, salt colon slash slash this is why I left this part up I need the base user slash SSH keys slash mo ali dot pub awesome uh, I also need that config and I'll just copy it because they're into and AWS now, I need to make sure that ZSS is present, and I don't want to do it just for this particular user. Uh, I need to make sure that anyone who wants ZSH is actually using it. So, uh, ZSH package.installed. I think that's all I need. Well, uh, you know what? Let's make it shell. Shells package.installed. Packages. ZSH. That'll install that. This will install run this and then yeah that should be more or less it we need to make sure that this uh, requires that so require other global states this is what we're looking for so require package that sweet okay Oops. Well, how did I get all the way down there now? Um, here's another example required package engine X. Okay. And on changes. No, we're not looking for on changes quite just yet. File. Great. The require package, require file, require SLS foo. Yeah, no, we don't need any of that. We just need something similar to this require package that. So require and then package and we need uh, ZSH so let's go ahead and try this I didn't haven't tried this part yet I know this is the third edit of the video but I haven't tried this yet let's try it um, okay so we'll go ahead and add stage all changes commit changes 
Um, just gonna commit this mic issues and then push changes. Sweet. All right, now it's pushed. It's pushed to a branch um, that is called, if I remember correctly, this branch. Salts three change shell. I know. Look at all those commits. All right. So now that we got that, um, we're gonna go out of this and into our master. So we're in our master. Yeah, see, I did it already. So I know this is already in the branch. See, it's in that branch. I just did a good pull. Sweet, it saw it. Awesome. So salt, and then we're gonna target the dev host. Uh, there's only one dev host. I can just do a glob right there state.apply base users dot users now that goes into this folder and then goes into that file right there and then we just apply that and hope for the best oh it says please check your syntax legal requisite zsh okay so it's complaining about the part that i wanted so how do we go about doing that Requisites, package nginx, package.install require. Hmm. Let's see where else requires being used. Require vim. In version 2016, the state module was optional. If the state module omitted, okay. And we're back up top, I think. No, we're not. Package.installed require SLS foo. Require package HTTPD. Require package nginx. Require package nginx. Okay, well, I guess let's just install it this way. PHP package.installed. And then. That's it, we'll just give an empty list. That should install it. Okay. So I don't, I'll leave this, but I'll change this. Oops, not the whole thing. And that should take care of that. We're just doing this portion here. Okay. Stage all changes. Uh, commit. Different way of installing ZSH. Push. Pushed. All right. Get pull. Hmm. Please check your syntax. Package dot installed. Require hyphen package nginx. And I'm doing require package. Oh, that's my issue. Stage fix require statement. Push. This is getting to be a long video already. And we go. And it's there. And if we go here, that's my key, that's my host, and it still works. Okay. Huzzah. It's all done. Anyway, so most of what this is actually a state. Um, I when I executed this on the salt master, this is I executed just this one state. But it is a state nonetheless. Now I have three actual declarations in the state. I create this user. I give him an SSH key that I pull from, well, the repo. And then I make sure that this package is installed. And in this in this state where I create the user, I make sure that the package is installed before the user is created. Because otherwise it would just fail. If I mean, technically it wouldn't fail, but like, 
if there were, if this was an application where the where the uh, package was exactly needed to run, and I was trying to run the application, then it would be needed. Um, but in this case, you can have the user be there without the shell being there, and they'll just tell you that you can't log in because the shell's not there. Um, so, but this requirement is helpful for areas where you need a config file before you're running an application, for example. All right, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and stop right here. So I'll see you guys later in the next video.